Today we're in the rare book room, which is a special secure room that is environmentally controlled, maintaining both temperature and humidity levels uh, according to archival standards. What we have housed in here are both rare, unique, and have historic significance to York County's history. The volumes that are housed on these shelves are written in Latin, German, French, uh, and require special talent to actually be able to read them. So we have two volunteers that are very fluent in those languages that have been cataloging them over the past several years. Today we're going to look at two special volumes in the Rare Book Room. It is a first edition printing of Uncle Tom's Cabin, written by Harriet Beecher Stowe. It was published in 1852. It's a two volume set owned by a York Countyan by the name of Israel Laux. As you can see, he inscribed it, Israel Laux, York, PA, 1853. So he's 26 years old when he's owning these books. Israel Laux was born in York County in 1827 in West Manchester Township and would become one of the organizers and president of York Safe and Lock. He was very involved in the community. He was uh, involved in numerous activities with churches, etc. Some people described him as being very progressive in his thinking, hence I think that's why he had a copy of Uncle Tom's Cabin in, in his library. The importance of this book was, as Harriet wrote, she wanted to describe slavery as she saw it. So that's what these sketches do. They brought the importance of what was happening with slavery and the Underground Railroad to the rest of the United States. This particular printing uh, was for a first edition. You had your choice of either a cloth binding, which is what this was, it sold for $1.50, or you had a cloth binding with gilded edges, or you had a paperback or a paper copy. As a historian, I mean, I can remember reading this in school, and the fact that now I am a caretaker of one of the original editions of this, and the fact that it was owned by a York County and wanting to know how he got the book how he, you know, did he buy it at the local bookstore in York? You know, what what brought him to bring, buying the book? That's just another question to be answered. <laughs>